All right, hey guys. So I'm getting ready for winter. It is freezing overnight here now. It's really beautiful out today. It's uh, in the 50s and uh, sunny and I, uh, just a beautiful sky. I hope it's clear tonight uh, for some imaging. Um, but what I wanna do is get things ready and prepped for, uh, for winter storms and snowfall and everything. And I want to uh, dig in some concrete blocks into the ground here. And then I've got a shelter that I'm going to set up uh, which is a, like a retractable dome that I'm going to uh, set up for my, uh, for my telescope rig here. And I think it's going to be effective in just keeping the snow off and protecting from, uh, from winds and things like that. So uh, we will see. I'm going to get that set up. And, but first, I want to get uh, th these blocks dug in and everything leveled and uh, move on from there. So if that sounds interesting, stick around. My name is Doug, and this is Astro AF.
All right, for the second part of this, I'm going to set up this. It's a dome tent shed. Um, it's really marketed as a uh, um, like a garden cover. However, it's a nice dome si uh, shape, and it is pretty big. It's about um, 11 feet deep, and I think it's eight feet wide and uh, about five foot six or eight inches tall, which that should get me over the top of this telescope here uh, without having to park this in a, in a horizontal low position. So anyway, uh, I haven't even opened this yet. I'm not sure how to put it together. It looks like it's just some simple, um, flexible uh, tent style poles that have elastic through the middle of them that you put together. So it should go pretty quick here, I'll let you know. And uh, so let's check it out. So it's really, really nice material. This is a product that I got off of an Etsy store. And I believe it's uh, the name of the shop is Cave Innovations. I'll, I'll leave a link to his store down in the description. Okay, nice. Well, it comes in its own with a bag that I won't be using right now, but when it packs up, it packs up into its own bag. That's a nice bonus. It came with stakes and, and guy wires. I might head to the store today and pick up some heavier duty stakes. These are your simple steel L shape. We'll see how that goes. I want to make sure this is secure because we get some pretty strong winds that run through here in the middle of winter. Some instructions, which I'm going to take just a moment to review. So not guaranteed to withstand very heavy snowfall, which I understand. I intend to be cleaning this off every morning and just keep it cleared off so it doesn't build up over the top of it. This is a 400D Oxford polyester. It feels really nice. They recommend that this fabric get coated or sprayed for UV and waterproofing. I think it is already treated. I don't intend on using this in the summertime at all. And so this is just really for overwintering. My biggest concern is just gonna be make sure and come out every morning after snow and uh, make sure and broom this off so it doesn't accumulate weight on top of it. All right, so it says to go ahead and unfold the main fabric cover, lay it out on the ground for a few minutes to allow it to unfold. And there's nine arc-shaped sleeves through which the poles must be inserted. So locate one of the openings in the first of the fabric sleeves, put together the first two of the three sections of one of the poles and carefully slide it through the arc sleeve in the fabric cover. Keep building and gently pushing the poles through the sleeve, taking care not to damage the fabric. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, well, this is our bag of tent poles. I think I'll just go ahead and put all these together to begin with. I'm not sure if they're all the same length. When I take this down in the spring, I will take these apart and wrap them individually so they don't get tangled together with other poles. Okay, all of these rods are the same. So we'll start going down the middle.
This might be, if you had a helper, it would be better. All right, there was a strap connecting the, the two ends underneath that needed to be undone. Because it was cinching them together. It should make it easier. I think I will slide all these through as much as I can first. to, based on the instructions, which did say it was easier with two people, but it says, well, it says carefully push the poles through, and then it says in bold, don't push the poles through, uh, feed the fabric. I, I pretty much have to do a combination of both here, but uh, it does say once you get the first pole through to go ahead and get it secured in the pins and create the arch. And then uh, hopefully it will be easier to bring the uh, successive poles through following that. So we'll give that a shot. And we're almost there. All right, I got that pull through. They can't pull on these poles because they are, because they are bungee. So they'll just pull apart. So this is where it might be helpful to reconnect that strap that's on the inside to pull these together. See if I can find that. Yeah, this is really weird. So I need to. That came apart inside there. All right, so that was really hard. I spent a couple hours and I got half of these done by myself. And so I called for help and my wife came out and helped me and we finished up the other half in about 15 or 20 minutes. So I would definitely say that this is a two person job. It was, uh, it was just really too difficult to get these through the uh, fabric um, with the curve. Uh, so I definitely recommend getting some help if you decide to uh, try this out. But uh, let's see how this actually fits. Uh, I want to get my cover. just fits it's not bad um, and I need to get it staked down to the ground make sure it's aligned the way I want to but basically what I'm hoping is come out here and I'm ready to start imaging and then in the morning cover this up you know, stake it down or whatever, and it's good for the day. Or if we have inclement weather, then I should be able to leave it up during the days and just maintain, make sure that uh, snow doesn't build up too much on it. All right, so I thought we'd go for a little tour here, and I've got a dome. <laughs> Maybe I should give it an observatory name. I might have to. I'll have to check and see if, what? 
like AFO, maybe, AF Observatory. We shall see. This fabric is really nice, heavy duty. It's got four vents, two on the front, two on the back. And I've got it staked down through the back right now. I still need to put the guy wires on it uh, to secure it down. And I'm probably gonna put some kind of, uh, I got some sandbags and I might lay some sandbags around here to hold this down just like as a weight. Check this out. There's actually a uh, kind of a pull rope right here. And I'm imaging, you know, really pretty happy with this. So I think it's gonna work good. I just gotta make sure I have it good and secure and I'll be working on that next. So anyway, I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> All right, so hey, I've got an observatory, AFO. I'm gonna uh, double check and make sure it's not already taken and uh, we will see. Check that out. Is that badass? <laughs> Sorry, my hand's in the, in the pic. That's really cool. Yeah, anyway, that was, it was difficult. The difficulty level was, uh, I give it a, by myself, it was a, a nine, to 10 out of 10 with someone else helping it was like a 2 out of 10 not bad at all having that second set of hands to help was meant everything so I definitely suggest that you have someone help you if you decide to check this out for yourself and anyway I hope you enjoyed that I'm pretty excited about it I feel like uh, I am prepared for winter now and um, I love that it's just simple and easy to open quickly. Yeah, I can open it in seconds and I can close it up in 30 seconds. And it's just, uh, it's great. I, I do have to um, assess whether or not I'm gonna be parking horizontal or not uh, because it is uh, just barely touching the, the very, I mean, just as light as it could be. If there's any snow or anything that gets on there, then that might put some weight. And so I think I will, uh, uh, probably end up parking it uh, uh, horizontally. But anyway, I, I'm really excited about this, so I think it's pretty cool. Hopefully you like this video. If you did, you know, leave a like below. Your subscription would be amazing. And so thank you very much for hanging out with me and checking out my new observatory shelter uh, for overwintering. My name is Doug, and this is Astro AF. <laughs> <laughs>